Welcome back guys, it's the Tightwad. Did you know that most doorknobs come with a lifetime warranty? I had some issues with my Copper Creek doorknobs. I reached out to them and they sent me brand new ones. Today we're gonna get them swapped out. First I wanna demonstrate some of the issues that I'm having. The doorknob itself is just a little bit loose. You can see that the lock mechanism is hard to turn. And sometimes the doorknob catches a little bit when you're trying to open it. Uh, but the main thing is whenever you push it to close it, it doesn't always close easily. And sometimes it bangs back open like that. So I really want mine to be soft closed where you don't have to slam them to get them to shut. I go in and out of this one a lot doing cooking uh, for my cooking videos for grill this, smoke that. If you haven't checked out my cooking channel, it would be awesome if you do. I'll make sure there's a link to it in the description. Today I'm replacing both the deadbolt and the doorknob. So I'm gonna go ahead and start on the inside, removing those screws. It sure does make it a lot easier to use an electric screwdriver when doing this, because typically there's a lot of turning involved. With that part out of the way, you should be able to hold the front of the knob, the locking side, and just pull the back side off. And then the front side should slide out as well. We're also going to be replacing this portion. And this should just have two shorter wood screws. With those two screws removed, you can just pull this straight out. And then you just reassemble in reverse order. So I'm gonna put this in first. The rounded side goes towards the outside. So now you need to determine, do you want your keyhole to be facing like this or like this? I prefer my key teeth to face up whenever I'm putting them in. And this long center piece goes through the center hole and the, obviously the other two go through the other holes. And with that in place, you can now slide your doorknob on the other side. And then the two longer screws or bolts that come with the kit go in next. I always start them by hand and then use the electric screwdriver. That way I know that they're engaged properly. And then just take your screwdriver and tighten them down. Test and make sure everything works correctly. The two screws are also removed on this deadbolt and then it should just pull right off. The other side of these is a little difficult to get out sometimes, uh, but the core should come out first, which is the lock itself. And then the other piece just pulls right off. Slide this out. All right, I'm gonna put the new one in. It doesn't matter which direction these go. All right, and the shorter screws go in this area. Now the locking cylinder just slides into the other piece. I'm gonna make it where the teeth of the key go up, so I'm gonna put this on the bottom. There's a little bit more to do on the deadbolt as far as orientation. As you see, there's a cross in the center, and this little piece turns up and down or side to side. If you do it side to side like this, then your lever will be up and down when it's unlocked. If you do it vertical like this, then it's gonna go sideways when it's unlocked. So you have to decide, do you want this to be locked and unlocked or vice versa? We actually like it the other way. So I'm gonna turn mine horizontal and then the unlocked portion will be when it's straight up and down. All right, now I need to put these long bolts through. These are a lot harder to find the hole because they're, they're deeper in there. With that installed, we'll now test the lock and unlock. It should be nice and smooth. The next thing we're going to do is replace these striker plates. You can see this one has some paint on it and this one has a rub mark on it. You can see this one has probably an inch and a half long screws in it, which is normal for the deadbolt to have a little bit longer screws. So I'm gonna put the new strike plate in place and I have much longer screws. The reason for the longer screws on the strike plate for the deadbolt is so if someone tries to kick your door in, it doesn't just rip the strike plate off, um, which would be a lot easier to break if it had shorter screws in it. And I'm gonna go ahead and get both screws in before I screw either one of them all the way in. And we'll do the same for the lower one. Get this new strike plate on. 
And these can be shorter screws because I will be locking my deadbolt every time I lock the door. Close as well. Locks easily, unlocks easily. And everything's good to go. So if you need good quality, but affordable doorknobs and entry locks for your home, check out Copper Creek. You can find them in some of the big box stores. You can also find them online. Let me know if you have any questions. Thank you so much for making it to the end of the video. It'd be awesome if you'd click that logo in the bottom left-hand corner to subscribe to my channel and maybe even check out one of my other videos shown on the right. As always, I hope you guys have a great day.